Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and I am in Orlando, Florida, at the home office of Firefight Products. And what they do is sell fire retention systems for RVs. So I bought one, and they're going to install it here. I had it shipped to me quite a while ago, but I have not been able to find anybody willing and able to install it. So I came here to the home office to have them do it for me. It's at 6101 Anno Drive. And there are two very interesting things I wanted to share with you about this place. One is the fire suppression system and two is their specialization otherwise of restoring GMC motorhomes. Look at this lineup of GMC motorhomes. You'll probably never see this many in one place anywhere in the country. They quit making GMC motorhomes. I forget what year. I'll look it up and put it in the description below. They were only made for a certain number of years and then they stopped the production, but they were very popular and very unusual motorhomes. And one of the most unique things about them is that they do not have a rear axle. You got two wheels on each side like this that are attached in a unique way. This is what it looks like in between the two rear wheels. They have this device, I'm not sure just how it works, but it's a unique system that prevents needing an axle going across their motorhome and that provides more room under there, more storage, and a lower floor. It's really a very clever design that as far as I know has never been duplicated or even similar in any other motorhome I've seen anywhere. I'm going to put some links below in the description where you can go and learn more about the GMC motorhome. They were very very popular at the time that they were on the road. They did have certain problems with them <laughs> But it wasn't that because they just discontinued them. Their sales just wasn't as much as they wanted. And they found their interests were better served producing products other than motorhomes, just regular cars and trucks, I guess. Here's one they have on a lift. And over here is just a shell of one. So you can see here, it's got a totally flat floor all the way, since there's no wheel well needed. And that is the driver's seat right there. So they are not really large motorhomes. So I guess this is where GMC motorhomes go to die, or if they're lucky, get restored. Now they don't do GMCs only. This is a Clark, which is a similar type, although it just has two wheels on each side. I've never heard of this model motorhome, but they tell me that they do restore any kind of motorhome antiques that they can get their hands on, like here's an Airstream. So if you know anybody with the GMC that's looking for parts, <laughs> I think this would be the first place to go. Or if you're really in love with the GMC motorhome and you would like a restored one, I would come here too. I don't know if there's other places in the country like this, but this must be the biggest. So they are installing my fire suppression system. I got it because I read about what can happen when an engine 
gets caught on fire, which could be the engine of the motorhome or it could be an engine of the car being towed. Now, I don't tow a car, but I have seen videos of motorhomes on the side of the highway that had the rear on fire. Rear engine motorhomes where either the motorhome engine catches on fire and then that causes the car they're towing to catch on fire or sometimes it's the tow car that starts the fire and then spreads it to the motorhome. Now I've also been told that the chances of a diesel pusher motorhome catching on fire is extremely rare and it is. Fortunately it's extremely rare but I value my motorhome enough to do what I can to make sure as much as I can that that never happens because I never ever plan to sell this motorhome. I bought it with the intention of keeping it for the rest of my life and the only way I would ever get a different or new motorhome is if I have an accident in this one that just wrecks it so much it costs too much to fix. So this is my unit. This is what it looks like. Like a regular fire extinguisher with a special head nozzle on it and it gets installed right by the engine here. Here are some of the various models of the fire suppression systems. There's different sizes and you can look at those heads on them that they've designed for this special purpose. This is the business card of Jim Bounds, the owner. They got it installed for me. It took an hour to do it. Just cost me $100 labor. So I feel really comfortable about having it installed by the place that actually sells them. And by the way, on these GMC motorhomes, those things are airbags. Way back then, they built these with airbag suspension. And Jim told me that during the time they were producing these GMC motorhomes, they built 13,000 of them. And he thinks there still may be about 8,000 of these on the road. And they don't sell them here, they just restore them. But if you want to buy one, you contact him and he will refer you to the owners. Each one of these coaches you see here are owned by someone else who has brought them here to have them restored and then they either use them themselves or they sell them. So I'm going to put several links in the description below about both Firefight products and the GMC motorhomes. So you can read all about it. And you may not be interested in the GMC motorhomes but if you have any kind of an RV at all, you should be interested in the possibility of a fire and what you can do to minimize that. Good day, folks.